And um, speaking of the greatest team ever whom Liverpool are trying to catch, what in the world is David De Gea doing? I love saying that sentence. I just love it. What I'm trying to understand is how he's going to win the Golden Gloves this year. And, right. And he had, what, what was it? I sent his most saves or something, highest he's saves or something. He's got, the mo- he's got 15 shutouts this season. Is that what the Golden Glove is? Yes. Is just shutouts? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's disgusting. He's been terrible. This was this was embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for him, and I'm laughing at him at the same time. He's finished. He's absolutely washed. Like, how do you? There's no way he gets another contract. But he is. I think they just signed him to a new contract, didn't they're, they? They're going to. They uh, the the manager came out and said he wanted to extend him. I love if it. I'm, now I don't have anybody now, else. Business side, business side. If I'm David De Gea, I win the Golden Gloves. And you look at where where United finishes based on the rest of the team looking like a shambles. You can say my mistakes, but they won they won a cup, and he played net. And it, it, I mean, it's whatever cup it was. He he wins the Golden Gloves. I got something to negotiate with. And you know, keepers even though keepers their prime is like thirty five, you know, up to forty forty two. Well, yeah, it's mental. I mean, he not, he still can play, and I mean. Who they brought in a keeper and still haven't supplanted him. I would start Kepa over De Gea any day of the week in that Spain squad. Does to, to, go, to go from Gasillas to, I think so, to yeah. De Gea is an insult to Spain soccer. Like it's I don't it's, know, De Gea had his day. De Gea wasn't always no, as so, trash when as United was rough, go back five years ago, De Gea was a wall. Yeah. Wall, he's just he's. I don't know what it is, man. He's got <laughs> well, for arms, I guess. The, the one of the reasons, noodles, my man stopped the ball and didn't even stop a ball. Like, well, the noodles. crazy part is the biggest issue with De Gea is the requirements for goalkeepers have changed because they basically have to be field players, and he's not good with his feet. He's not no, good with the ball at his no. feet, and that that ruins it. Like literally, what three of the mistakes he made this year were with his feet. Well, to Harry Maguire, mind you, it was with his feet to Harry. So it's not all <laughs> on Gea at that Harry point. Time. I hope I hope Maguire stays for all of it. I hope Maguire stays for the next ten years at, uh, at United. That would be nice. No United fan will want to listen to you ever again after you just said that. No United <laughs> fan wants to listen to me ever because I they hate them. I hope their bus doesn't make it to. They the don't like me anyway. They don't like me. Right, but. You know, we were talking about manager of the mo- manager of the season or whatever, and uh, I asked the, I asked a question if Ten Hag gets a shout if they finish top four, and I'm I was I'm withdrawing that completely. I thought he learned. I thought that he's seen how bad playing Veghorst in the ten makes your team. No. They spent what eighty million dollars on him? No. No, he's on loan. Vegas was a desperation buy in January. It, they were desperate. They needed a body. But you have to recognize that he's not a creator. He's not a number 10. What? We said this the last time he tried to do this, and we were just as baffled. It took him 60 minutes to pull him off, too. Like, they have nothing. They have nothing. And as soon, as soon as... Bruno Fernandez pushed into the middle late on in this game. They started creating stuff. Now I'm I'm not a Bruno Fernandez fan. You know that. You 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 know if you watch this channel, you know what I think of Bruno Fernandez. But that doesn't mean he's not their best creative influence. No, he can play ball now. It doesn't yeah. mean he's not their best creator. You know, and the fact that when like because Casemiro's form has fallen off a cliff in the last five six games. You know, so. When if that is why the last six games y'all have been subpar is because one guy has fallen off a cliff, you know, not to mention Casemiro is what, 31, 32 or something like you can't you're not you can't. And so is Erickson. They're both like older and over aging. the hill. And yeah. so. And you have options in the 10. If. Even if you're going to be stubborn 
and keep Bruno out on the left. What happened to Sarbitzer? Sarbitzer gives his life for the badge every time he comes in. You got to give him that. He's always popping out and he runs his socks off. Let Erickson have the freedom. If this is what you're going to do, let someone else have the freedom to not have to defend. What was, what was the purpose of buying Fred? Like, what, why does Fred even exist? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not saying he's good. I mean, he's better than me, but I mean, he's supposed to be <laughs> the guy. Yeah, I don't under, I don't understand it, but I just don't think that. I think I thought Ten Hag would have realized by now. You can't play Veghorst in the ten. You got to buy Ivan Tony. Sure. And I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was absolutely hysterical when the commentator was going through this same thing we're going through right now, trying to figure out what the logic was. And the conclusion that the commentator came to was, oh, West Ham are deadly on free kicks and corner kicks and set pieces. And so Weghorst is in there to defend the the set pieces. I cackled. I absolutely, I laugh so that out loud. The commentator said that. Like with his voice and, and sound came in. Audible. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's what he said Veghorst was in the team for. I laughed so hard. I was like, that is fantastic. That that's what Manchester United have succumbed to. That's what United is. Going to West Ham and trying to play on the counterattack. Well, that's what they've been doing the last few weeks. Well, that's what they've been doing all year, pretty much. That's where Man United is right now. Eras do come to an end, Mr. Seven Hog. They sure do. I mean, because holy crap, this is a completely different United than we're used to. And you can see what happens to this team when Rashford doesn't get any service. Rashford's just running all over the place chasing the ball into the corner because that's the only way they can figure out how to get the ball to him. Rashford's got, what, 20-something, 26, 27 goals all comps this season? Take away those goals. United are in ninth or something like that. Take Rashford out of the equation, and and United are, are way down the table. They rely on him so much. So I think you're right, yeah. If Ivan Tony or Harry Kane comes in, I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm not wishing for it, but it would make all the sense in the world to go after one of those guys. All the sense in the world. Yeah, I think it's I think it's it's. I think it's something that's being lost in the game today as far as tacticians and, and, and managers trying to build around a player, build their team around a player. Why not build around Marcus Rashford? He He's he's. Clearly, and by far, your best player. Like, try to do whatever it takes to get him the ball with support. Because that's all you got. That's all there is. And they were not able to do that against West Ham. Uh, Declan Rice, again, they up give him another $10 million on the bill. Because West Ham are just going to ask the, the moon for Declan Rice. He was immense. Um, ben he had Rama. some interceptions this season. Oh, he's he was a monster. Um, ben Rama got his goal uh, gifted, gifted, gift wrapped. Uh, you know, um, and t- dude, Mikel Antonio. It's another. It's another one of those performances from a forward that I, I personally, having no, knowing what it's like to have to do that work and put in that kind of a shift. Well done. Absolute. The guy, the guy works his absolute socks off. Just like Gabby Jesus did versus Newcastle. Mikel Antonio, like, I, I'm a fan because he he knows exactly what he's got to do. He knows exactly what his role is. And he, he'll chase you down from a mile away. Like he he's willing, he's willing to chase the ball all over the place. He holds up the play well. He's absolutely jacked. Like he's, you can tell he's lifting all the time. My man is huge, and so you can't like, you can't knock him off the ball. 
Like I, I would be willing to bet that he could hold Erling Holland off. Like he, he's a monster, dude. He, he's, you know, and so he's, he's got it. You know, even if like, even if Chelsea wanted to bring, I mean, he doesn't really score a lot. As far he's also as older in age, I believe, isn't he? Yeah, that's fair. I think he might stay at West Ham. He, he's definitely, uh, you know, carved out a place there. But uh, he almost feels like a lifer there now. Until so, so Rice goes feels that way. Rice is coming to Arsenal. You think? I, I think so. Yeah, I think for so sure. As well. I definitely do. Because United gets him. I mean, United could use him, man. Like, yeah, I, I understand. United, if United got Tony and Rice. I mean, all, you, all of their things would change. That'd be monstrous for them. That'd be so big. But, you know, Caicedo's out there, too. You know, and, I mean, you know, I don't think that he is the same exactly as Declan Rice, but, you know, he offers some of the same stuff. But, uh, yeah, all credit to West Ham. We're able to hold off. Kind of, uh, you know, impotent, I guess, is the word to say, in attack for United there. And uh, big three points for them. Pretty much safe. I think that's 37. Um, so that's pretty much safety for – no, West Ham are on 34, actually. So they still got a little bit of work to do. some work to do. Nope. I lied. They are on 37. There you oh. go. So yeah. – Maybe maybe one more game. Maybe yeah, they one, need one more game. To be, well, they, to do, they do play Leeds on the penultimate day, so I think they're good. I think they, they're they're good. gonna they're gonna get everything from Big Sam in that one. Yeah, but uh, I still think they're gonna do good. All right, <clears throat> I was gonna say um, about United, and and this kind of is gonna go another direction. And it's more managers in general. But it seems like, talking about the bag horse thing, that that is Ten Hogg's blind spot. And and what I mean by that is, is he, he feels like this guy is so important that he's got to be out there. He's got to play this specific position. And it's sort of like Arteta with Fabio Vieira. For some reason, he keeps – he threw him – he would throw him out and throw him out and throw him out. You know, <clears throat> you see it with, um, I mean, shoot, Leeds has gone through, what, three managers now, and they keep playing Patrick Bamford. You know, <laughs> for some reason, there's just guys that keep getting on the field that you're just like, why? And then, you know, sometimes it's like, well, you know, they play for the shirt. Cool. Whatever. But then you put them in positions where it's so important that it affects the game, that it becomes your blind spot, and you don't want to you don't want to face reality that that person doesn't fit yep. in that situation. And I feel like that's what it is for for uh, Ten Hag with Egg Horse. Um, <clears throat> but I also think that United might be a little bit concerned about building around one player because the last time they did that, it was a total disaster. They they. Bought Pogba. They were going to build around him. They started building around him, and then he just flopped. Yeah, but Rashford isn't isn't flopping. Rashford's not a flop. Oh no, he's killing the game. But I mean, he's he's also having a season that is above average for him. So is it best season ever? And for Pogba, they didn't play a style that fit him. I agree. That's their right. fault. Like, I mean, if you not if you can't say you're gonna build around a player, then don't bring, get the complementary pieces. That's their fault. Yeah. yeah fair well, I mean, they they expected him to play defense under under Mourinho and well. <laughs> yeah. 